Hello, welcome to our listing. Here is a video. I wanted to show you all the features of this sword because it's kind of hard to capture with just camera, uh, with just pictures. And so here's the uh, the hilt and pommel. Uh, you'll see the owner's initials along with the red enameling on the hilt. Along, you've got the um, pommel that has the knight's helm with the eagle on top holding the guard chain and we move down and you'll see the different symbol symbology here you've got the um, the mori the uh, memento mori symbol along with the um, cross and a crown and we move farther down and oh, kind of hard to see here because of reflection but then we have acanthus throughout here's a knight with the shield the sun in the middle um, john Car uh, cover's name being the owner and down here on the bottom you have another uh, Masonic cross. Uh, very, very nice. Let's do the other side of the sword. Okay, on this side you have the uh, ivory handle. This one with the pyramid and cross. No red enameling here on this side. Here is the MC Lilly Company, Columbus, Ohio, the maker of the sword. Here at the bottom you have a knight in full armor under an arch. Then a set of armor. And then you have, let's see, what is this part down here? It's, oh, another knight with a banner. Here's the scene I mentioned. Uh, uh, the Crusades, you can see here's the Crusaders and there's the riders with the curved swords and then other buildings with the minarets and the cr uh, Masonic cross at the bottom. Here's the scabbard it's ornamented on one side. You got a knight in repose with the uh, sun in the corner with the Masonic uh, pyramid in it and go down further and got uh, another etched in uh, knight here you have uh, looks like knight and scholar I think that's a scroll uh, very very nice it's not near some more uh, armor with the in hoc signo vince uh, of the Templar Knights. And then you have this bottom portion with the crossed weapons and a shield at the bottom. I believe that's what that is. Now the other side uh, is well, besides the hardware itself, the hardware itself does make a nice ornamentation, but the uh, sheath itself is not etched on this side, and so it's just it's just your fittings that have the uh, that have that have the etchings on it. Here's the back of this leather case. I'm going to go in close and you can see how there's design pressed in. Of course, somewhere it's over a hundred years old or around. And you've got very nice original handle, but there is some wear on that corner. I would not recommend holding it by that handle. And then on this side, it's much darker, but you can still see the etchings. And down here you'll see John N. Cover's name again.
And so this side, let me zoom out here and you'll see this side is much darker. It looks lighter whenever I zoom in. Uh, it could use a good cleaning, I suppose. And the uh, hardware here for putting in the sword is intact. So you can actually close her up. I will get a quick picture of it all together. Let's see here. I'm going to get this guy in here. There appears to be a little bit of, there's some kind of edge here, uh, something on this edge that help seal the sword apparently you got some I don't I don't think this is anything wrong with the sword itself but there is some dirt corrosion right there I don't know if the, perhaps this is has some iron in it but it appears to be soft like a leather so I think it's more more likely a leather piece and get this guy in As you can see, the whole thing fits nicely together in one piece. Thank you for looking at our listing. Um, hopes this will make a wonderful addition to anyone's collection. Thank you very much.